For most high school girls, making it to the state tournament was the ultimate experience, winning the championship even better. But most players never made it there. Their names don't appear in its record books. They weren't mentioned in the newspaper headlines or inducted into the Hall of Fame. But they were an integral part of their teams just the same. And they are just as important to the history of girls six-on-six -six basketball. The girls basketball team in a small community was the girl, was the way the girl identified herself beyond being a name on a file folder in the principal's office. She possibly was not the best student. Maybe she wasn't the uh, best musician, but she was one of the best basketball players. So she identified herself in the community. She was somebody. She was that girl that scores all of the points or that girl who gets all of the rebounds in the guard court. Who was this Iowa girl playing basketball? And what did she learn by participating? I think for me, uh, it gave me confidence. I was very, very shy, right? <laughs> and I gained the confidence playing with a team and knowing I can help give to be a part of something and to go somewhere. I think that helped me in the long run. Just the values that are instilled when you are a competitor and you're on a team and everything you learn through winning and losing, and sometimes I really think we learn more from losing because it really reveals your disappointment in your character, but how do you bounce back from that? And um, all those life lessons. I was proud, it was probably after I'd practiced, you know, shooting baskets. So I had to make a free throw this one night, and uh, as I stood there in uh, front of the basket, right on the line there, you know, kind of shaking, probably I heard somebody in the audience say, she usually makes her free throws. So that made me feel real good. <laughs> I can remember parents telling me that uh, people would say, Mom, come here, come here, Mom, come here. Joyce just left the house. They lived next to Joyce Elder, one of my good players. They were heroes. We went to a track meet down to Winterset, and I couldn't find my postcard. She was a hurler for me. And I kept looking for her and kept looking all over for her, and there she was, sitting on the curb, signing autographs. I can remember going out to the mall and shopping and people who waited on us knew my kids. We got on the elevator at the hotel and a couple older gentlemen said, I know you, you're number 50, you're Joy Seller, and I know you, you're number 20, you're jo uh, Julie Goodrich. Little kids from Adel, Iowa. That's how important girls basketball was in this state.